What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am super excited because we're going to be doing a full face testing all new e.l.f makeup. Right now it's like that weird time between Christmas and New Year's. I feel like all the days are mushing together. I like barely know what day or time it is, but I was like, I need to film today because right for the holidays, e.l.f. dropped all this new stuff on us that I was so excited about. We have a new CC cream and this is a hydrating one. I have dry skin, so I am so excited to try this. We have their new liquid blushes, which these are supposed to be a spot on rare beauty dupe. We have a new mascara, new brow product. So lots of newness that I want to try. Y'all know I love e.l.f. So I purchased all this stuff. Um, some of it I got at Ulta, some of it I got at Target, but you should be able to find it all in store now, as well as on e.l.f.'s website. I know the liquid blushes, originally it said they weren't even supposed to be in store, they're just supposed to be on e.l.f.'s website right now, but they had them at my local Target and they were already like half gone when I got them. So if you want them, definitely go check it out. I will try and link them down below in the description box as well, all the products, of course. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, we don't have a new primer, so I'm just gonna go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer just to prime my skin. Before we go in with the new CC Cream, I am so excited about this, I have high hopes. So we shall see if it lives up to my expectations. Okay, so this is the new e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream. I have my receipt right here. I got it at Ulta, $15. Um, I don't have any self tanner on right now, so I got it in shade Fair 125C, hoping this will work. I believe this was like the second lightest shade they had in the line. It says it's supposed to be full coverage, long lasting, dewy finish. It has SPF 30 in it, hyaluronic acid, and skin loving ingredients like tremella mushroom. I have never heard of that, so I don't know what exactly that does, but definitely interested to see. So I'm just gonna go dive right in and try this. I typically love anything that's like dewy and hydrating, especially when it comes to like a CC cream and like lighter coverage products. So I'm gonna pump some right on to, you know what, I'll pump it onto my finger. That's one pump and apply to my face and then we'll blend with the sponge. I'm gonna do two pumps. This shade might be actually a little too light, dare I say, which is surprising. Um, but let's see. When I blend it out, I'm going to just blend it out with a beauty sponge and see how it does. Definitely giving a good coverage, which is great. Like that pretty much immediately covered up all of my redness and stuff, which is nice. Blending out easily as well. Okay, the shade is definitely a bit too light in comparison to my neck. I definitely need to go back and like get a better shade. But as far as the formulation goes, I do like it. It was super easy to blend out, feels nice and hydrating going on. The coverage is really nice. Definitely does give a glowier finish to your skin. So if you like matte finishes, you don't like a glowy finish, Skip on this one. I don't think you're gonna like it. Try the original CC cream or just another product. Cause this, you definitely do get a glowy kind of finish. But I personally do like the way that it looks on my skin. I think I just need a hair of a darker shade cause I feel like I look a little ghostly. But again, I'm judging it on the formulation of the product, which I do like. But I'll wear this for the rest of the day. It is later in the day right now, it's four o'clock, but I'll wear this for at least six more hours. Honestly, probably do a full eight hour wear test. I stay up late at night. So I will put information on how it lasts down below in the description box where I list all of the products. I'll put the info on the wear test for it, but upon first application, I do like it. Doesn't have any weird scent to it or anything. Applied well, and I think looks really nice. Okay, there is no new concealer, so I'm just gonna jump in with some concealer. I had to find one that I thought would be light enough to work with this, but I think this one will work. Just gonna dot some concealer. Honestly, it did a pretty good job of covering up my blemishes, but I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer, but like I have one over here. It covered up pretty much all the redness associated. I just am gonna go in with a little bit more, but the CC cream on its own did give a really nice coverage, so you could probably get away with just using that. Um, for most things or like skin concerns that you may have that you want covered up. I'm not used to doing my makeup this pale. <laughs> so it's interesting. I feel like my hair looks really dark when my skin is like this. But I feel like that's every blonde ever thinking that like their hair is so dark when it's literally blonde and not dark at all. All right, concealer on. I am gonna do a little contouring as well. And then we're gonna go in with the new cream blushes. I promise that is personally what I was most excited for in this new drop and new collection that they came out with. They're not really collection, they just came out with like a bunch of new products. I wouldn't necessarily call it like a cohesive collection altogether because um, they were all kind of different, but they tend to drop new products around the same time. Okay, that helps to bring little color back in, looking good. All right, so I grabbed two of the new e.l.f. liquid blushes. These were, I wanna say, $7 at Target. I got the shade coming in hot pink. So if you wanna see this, I did a reel and TikTok using it. You guys, it is a bright, bright pink, and it is the most pigmented blush I've ever tried. I literally used the smallest little dab of it, and you'll have to watch the video to see, but I could have like put the thing all over my face with how pigmented it was. So now I know 
to literally only use the smallest amount of this product. We're gonna use a little bit of a more neutral shade because this is obviously a very bright pigmented shade as well on its own. So I'm gonna use a little bit more of a neutral one. Have not tried this yet. Really excited. This one is Suave Mauve, and I'm gonna use this on my cheeks today. So like I said with these, if this one's anything like the pink one, you really only need to use the smallest amount. This is what the doe foot looks like. Um, definitely very similar like vibes to the Rare Beauty liquid blushes. I think that's pretty much like what they're trying to dupe here with this, and we're gonna see how this one works. Literally going in with that much, the smallest amount, okay? And I'm going to blend it out yep okay also very very pigmented just like the pink one this one's a little bit easier to manage at least um because sometimes some of these blushes are so pigmented i'm like i almost wish it was a little less pigmented um oh this shade is pretty though wow but i sometimes i almost wish they were a little less pigmented so they were a little easier to blend and you could like build it up where with these you truly need to use the smallest amount um, possible. You could, of course, put it on the back of your hand, diffuse it a little, then go in with your face. But to me, that's just another step that I personally don't want to do in my makeup routine. I don't want to have to put something on my hand and all that. I want to just be able to apply directly to my face and blend. And with these, you can do that. But again, you just need the smallest amount. Like I just covered completely my two cheeks with it with the tiniest little dab. I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge and just kind of cohesively blend it into my under eyes to make it look a little more natural. I do really love this color though it's very very pretty it's a mauve but definitely has that pinkiness to it too so really really pretty and truly with the amount that you would need to use of these they will last you your entire life for seven dollars um really really crazy i do really like them um if you're looking for something that's like a dupe for rare beauty i do think that these are quite similar and also a lot of the shades are quite similar too um to some of the shades that they have in the rare beauty ones so Really, really nice. Alrighty, up next we have the new Instant Lift Waterproof Brow Pencil. This was only $4. I got this in shade Neutral Brown. So let's go in and see. I know that they had the Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the past, but I don't believe it was waterproof, and this is kind of like the new and improved version of it. They have this at Ulta in a display, basically, with the new CC creams, but you get a spoolie on one side. So I'm gonna just spoolie my brows in place. And then on the other side, we have the Brow Pencil, tiny, precise little pencil. So I'm just gonna go in. Oh, it is pigmented. And sculpt out my brows with this. Ooh, this is actually really nice and really pigmented. I'm like barely touching my brows and getting really good payoff, which is nice. I feel like sometimes with brow pencils, I'm like digging into my brows to get the payoff because they kind of like dry out. Obviously this one is, you know, brand new, but definitely good pigment and payoff with it. And it does have a bit of a waxy texture to it, but it doesn't look unnatural in the brows. I'm just running the spoolie through it to kind of evenly disperse it and it'll help to keep the brows in place without having to use like a separate brow gel. Sometimes though, when brow pencils have a waxy texture, they can look a little weird on your brows where I really don't think this one does. I think it looks really nice. That was super easy to fill my brows. Took like one minute, if that, for both of them. And I feel like they look really good. This is really good. And especially for $9, that's kind of crazy. And it's waterproof. So as we move into warm summer days, which seems like uh, eternity from now, being that it's like about to be January um, and freezing, it'll be great. Or if you live in a warm climate, great for you as well. But definitely really like the raw pencil. Didn't have like the highest expectations. It's kind of just like, okay, but I think it was really good. Up next, we have a new mascara. Now I found this to be interesting because everything that I see online, everyone's talking about the new CC cream and the liquid blushes and uh, nobody's talking about the new mascara, but they dropped a new mascara. This is the Lash Extender Mascara. I got it in the shade Pitch Black. This was $7 at Target, tiny little spoolie. And I'm just gonna go in and work this on my lashes immediately can tell that it's like a drier formula not super liquidy which is personally what i like and this is looking amazing right off the bat why is nobody talking about this this just lengthened and lifted my lashes like so quickly and easily this is really really good honestly reminds me a lot of the maybelline sky high that went viral like a couple years ago similar to that really gonna give length and lift, not super like voluminous, but if you like length, lift, curl, all that, you are gonna love this. Wow, literally looks so good. This honestly might be one of my new favorite drugstore mascaras. Like I just did that in less than a minute. I have to clean up my eyelid a little bit. I have some on there, but so, so good. I'm obsessed. Okay, and last but not least, just to finish off the look, I'm gonna go in with a little lip liner to give my lips a border. 
just kind of like blending up my lips together. And then I'm gonna go with my favorite of the new e.l.f. lip oils. This is their new Glow Reviver lip oils. And my favorite one is the Pink Quartz. I've been using this nonstop. It is so good. e.l.f. came out with so many good things in 2023. I feel like, I'm trying to think of what my favorite thing, what they came out with was, I don't know. Did they come out with Halo Glow in 2023 or was that 2022? If that was 2023, I would say that was my favorite. But if not, I would say either the lip oils or this new mascara is like, Seriously, really good. So lots of good stuff. Let me know what your favorite launch from ELF this year was. I would love to hear, or just favorite launch in general. Like, what did you love this year? I would love to hear. Um, I am gonna be doing a roundup of like my 2023 favorites. That's gonna be coming soon, but wanted to get this up first um, for any of you guys that were looking at these new products. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.